Good morning and welcome parents, family, friends, distinguished colleagues, and most importantly to the graduating class of 2021. My name is Mr. Ford and I am a proud fifth grade teacher here at PS91, but today I also have the distinct honor of serving as your master of ceremonies as we celebrate the students' accomplishments on this most momentous of occasions. Now, to say that the graduating class of 2021 took a different path to reach this milestone would be an understatement. More than 15 months ago, our world changed completely. And for these young boys and girls, the way that they learned changed completely as well. They went from studying reading, writing, mathematics, history, to quite literally making history themselves as they became the very first graduating class of PS91 to experience an entire school year remotely. We taught them throughout the year, but in turn, they taught us about perseverance, hard work, and resilience in the face of adversity. Now, so much has changed in this year plus, right down to the very way that we celebrate this occasion through this platform. But as much as things have changed, certain things have still remained the same, such as the immense pride that we feel for these students on this day. Today is a day to come together, a day to celebrate all that they have accomplished, their time at PS91, all they have had to overcome and wish them well as they embark on their bright futures in middle school and beyond. Now, please welcome with me Sueli Mwa Abikan from Dr. Sukwa's class as she leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning, everyone. Put your right hand on your heart and pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Sueli. And now please join Nyalena Sanchez, Estela Garcia, and Jalen Rodriguez as they lead us in the reciting of our school pledge, followed by the playing of our national anthem. And now we will say the school pledge. I promise to do my best and nothing less. I am smart and uniquely beautiful. PS91, let's keep on rowing for excellence. It is my pleasure to introduce our principal, Ms. Najaletti, as she addresses the graduating class of 2021. Good morning and welcome to PS91 2021 graduation ceremony. My name is Meredith Najaletti and I am the principal 
I've been here for, this is my 11th year, and we welcome you to our virtual ceremony. Dear parents, staff, and the PS91 graduating class of 2021, this last year and a half has been an extraordinary challenge for the PS91 community. Empty classrooms, remote learning with tablets, wearing masks, practicing social distancing, missing our friends and family, and just plain staying safe. All of these things took a toll on us this school year. But through it all, our biggest challenge was to remain true to ourselves as students, as teachers, as parents and grandparents, as guardians, and as members of this community and as New Yorkers living in the Bronx. I'm so proud to say that we enthusiastically accepted the challenge. We may not have been together with our teachers and our friends in person in the school building, but we looked COVID-19 right in the eye and said, we will not be shaken, we will not be held down, and we will not hide away and we will not run away. No, each of us said, I will climb this mountain that has been placed in front of me by this terrible pandemic, because that's exactly what I learned to do at PS91. I will be strong, I will be brave, and I will not let the coronavirus break me down to dust. I am glorious. And together with my teachers and classmates, we are all Bronx beautiful. As I write today, it is not lost on me that this is the second graduation in as many years where we have been bruised and scarred by this very scary virus that has surely taken its toll on us in one way or another. It is why I wanna take this time to remind my glorious graduates of PS91 in 2021 that one day you'll look back at this time and see that when you were faced with an awful situation, you did not let it break you. Instead, you stood up to the beast and bested it. In all of our lives, there will be tests and situations we would rather not have to encounter, but in besting COVID-19, you have shown just how resilient you are and that nothing can ever stop someone who has a goal to which you are committed. So as I send you off to your next educational adventure in middle school, my ask of the magnificent graduates of this class is to always remember your years at 91 and especially this last one how you pushed through the sad, frustrating barricade and hard times and adapted yourself to the global pandemic that brought this world to its knees. Remember, not only did you make it through your graduation, you are a warrior and stronger, smarter, and more resilient for all of it. As our 2021 graduation song, This Is Me from The Greatest Showman says, when the sharpest words wanna cut me down, I'm gonna send a flood, I'm gonna drown them out. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be, this is me. Look out, cause here I come, and I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen, I make no apologies, this is me. Congratulations, graduating class of 2021. You've made us so proud. Stay in touch and remember to come back and visit. Thank you, and we love you. Thank you, Ms. Najaletti. Now we are so proud of all of the graduating students from this class, but there are a select few students who went above and beyond. Please enjoy the following speeches from the valedictorians and salutatorians for the class of 2021. My name is Curly Jimenez, and I would like to thank God for letting us finish the school year and to also thank all the teachers, Ms. Najaletti, and all the students for all the effort they have put in in the um, entire school year. And to looking back to the first day of school, it seems like it was just yesterday. I would like to give a big congratulations to everyone that's graduating because even with all the challenges and odds, you're still standing here and graduating. And now I'm standing here as the valedictorian and for this title, I had to work for it, sacrifice for it and stress for it, but not just me, 
but everyone that passed. And thank you very much, and I would like to give a congratulations again. Congratulations, fifth graders, for moving on to the next step in life. My name is Sapphire Ahmed, and I want to thank Ms. Evans, Ms. Skiltsman, and all of the teachers for helping me earn the position as a valedictorian of the class. It's surprising how kindergarten felt like yesterday, and today we are standing here in front of our computer screens, proud, happy, intelligent, and, un and understanding. We have made it through a hard time which felt like forever, but hopefully we will be the last generation to experience such a pandemic. As little children, we thought that our graduation will be like the ones that our brothers and sisters had, but it ended up not as expected as we thought it would be. Our elementary school time is almost coming to an end, and I have mixed feelings about it. I am feeling excited and happy that we will be moving on to middle school with knowledge and luck. On the other hand, though, I am feeling nervous that middle school could be harder and tougher than we know. It will be a new place, but I'm sure that we will learn from the beginning, just like elementary school. Many of us were scared and upset when we started elementary since we didn't know what to expect. I am also feeling sad and upset because I will never be able to go back to this school and this time again. I will miss my old teachers and friends from elementary school, but these feelings will soon fade away once you are in middle school. Thank you, fifth graders, for trying your hardest this year from 2020 to 2021. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay happy and believe in yourself. Good morning, Mrs. Najaladi, Mrs. Adhari, teachers, parents, and my fellow graduates. I am Ramesa Rodal, the valedictorian from class 503. Before I start, I would like to thank my parents for taking care of me, helping me become a good person, and helping me when I get stuck on my homework. I also want to thank all my teachers for being patient and kind, especially Ms. Sukwa for telling me to believe in myself. Lastly, I want to thank my friends for supporting me when I went through hard times and giving me a reason to laugh no matter what I was going through. Spending the last few years in PS91 was great. I made friends, learned new things, and honestly, I didn't think it would end this quickly, but I was wrong. Time flew by quickly and here we are, graduating from fifth grade going to middle school. It almost seems unreal. There are so many memories that I made in these last few years. Like that one time where a person would touch you and you get the cooties. Not going to lie, I got pretty annoyed when I had it, but it's actually funny now that I think back at it. Also, I remember Mr. Levine used to put his hands down and high five me. It was so funny. It may seem like this is the end of the story, but for me, it is the start of a new chapter in our lives. Before we go on, let's look back at some of the previous chapters. When we started kindergarten, we mainly focused on having fun and socializing with one another. Then first grade hit and we had math, reading, science, and way more. Everything got complicated, but even at a young age, we still managed to get used to it and be responsible for doing it. During fifth grade, I realized that there was no point in being shy. I came out of my shell like the turtle and became more confident. To cap our amazing elementary experience, there was the magical fifth grade graduation picnic. Here we got to see each other as a grade at the same school for one last time. But don't be sad, this is not the end. There are many ways to stay connected as we all know. Congratulations and best wishes to the graduating class. You made it. Thank you all. Hello, my name is MD Najmul Saqib, and today I will, I will read my valedictorian speech, and I'm in class 504. So good morning, and thank you, Ms. Najaladi, Ms. Lil Harry, parents and students and teachers for coming to PS91 fifth grade graduation. This event marks the transition of these wonderful, spectacular students onto the next step of the journey. Who knows if the future president of the United States is in this meeting right at this moment? Maybe you're staring at the one who can cure cancer or invent the newest technological invention smiling up here right now. We the faculty and staff at PS91 have very mixed feelings about this event. On one hand, we are very sad to see them go. On the other, we are very delighted to see the students smiling at you all, ready to face the future. 
Many of us know this engaging fifth grader since kindergarten. That's seven years. We hope that you all can achieve great things because I know you all can. After, after all, some of you spent six to seven years in PS91 hallways. I just ask that you never forget that you came to PS91 and that you can come by and visit PS91 when you're successful and, and ad adoring your life. This is a home for you all. So please keep us informed for the wonderful destinations you can go next. This speech will recognize each child for their achievements. Many of them scored consistently testing, making this class the highest achieving in the entire state. Please give yourselves a round of applause. Students, please have a moment and look at your parents and teachers and give them a round of applause for, give, for coming here and supporting you. And I would also thank my parents for helping me throughout the school year. And to add on, I will also give some credit to my elementary school teachers, Ms. Olardo, Ms. Kobian, Ms. Tremboli, Ms. O'Keefe, Ms. Kibler, Ms. Mills, and Ms. Arod, for fulfilling my brain with education. Additionally, credit to Ms. De La Rosa for helping me go through my speech. It means a lot to me. In last words, I am truly pleased and happy for everyone's progress in elementary school. And on behalf of the, of the faculty and staff of PS91, we, the class of 2021, are a powerhouse of innovation and creativity. We will push the boundaries to make this world a better place, even in small ways. Always remember where you came from and always remember where you are going. Congratulations, graduates. I wish you all the best in the future. Good morning, everyone, teachers, staff, parents, and class of 2021. We finally made it. I like to start saying the three things I've learned throughout my years at PS91, and that is to be respectful, responsible, and to be kind to people around you, especially in the school building. I also learned other important things like how to use RAD. This helped me improve my writing by organizing my thoughts and supporting them with evidence. In the fourth and fifth grade, I studied and practiced my multiplication skills every single day. I like to consider myself a multiplication expert. Thanks to Ms. Kipper, Mr. Ann, Mr. Ford, and Ms. Moon. Speaking of Ms. Munoz, she was a teacher who really helped me with my life. She was very patient with me and made sure I tried my best. Ms. McCartney was a guidance counselor who helped me be the person I am today. She helped me with being comfortable by talking or writing about my feelings. To all the graduates here today, I want to say congratulations. Today, we deserve to be celebrated for all the hard work we have accomplished. Let's be proud to prepare for all the great things ahead of us. I'm really going to miss all you guys. PS91 is so awesome. Hi, my name is Shaylin Vargas. I've been in PS91 for six years. And I just wanted to say thank you for all of the teachers that have taught me what I know today. I also wanted to say some advice to some students to always pay attention like what I did so that you could be a student with the highest grades in your class. I also wanted to say thank you, Ms. Najaletti, Ms. Ludharry, parents, students, and my parents for supporting me. Hi, I'm really Rodriguez, and I earned the role of salutatorian. Most kids ask how I'm nerd and spoiled at the same time. I say it's got to be dedicated to school. I had many times where I wanted to give up, but I did not. What helps me focus and keep going is knowing that all I have to do is try, because one day I'll live on my dream. I love school, but I only love it because of my teachers. With that being said, I would like to thank my teachers for the easy times and the hard times. Also, I would like to thank Ms. Angeletti and Ms. Lohari. 
and all the other staff. All of you guys made it easy to love school. I know these past few years have been hectic, but at least you can't be put down. Nothing could hold you down. We've done virtual school, been indoors for about a year before we can be let outside. We've been separated from family and friends, and some of us had close family and friends that had passed. What I'm trying to say here is that the past two years have not been all so good, but I know that everything will turn out to be okay. All you have to do is believe yourself, because I believe in you. Good morning, Ms. Nardoletti, Ms. Lahardi, teachers, parents, and my fellow graduates. My name is Swelly Natasha Amwabe Khan, and I'm a salutatorian from Dr. Suko's class. Before I go further, let me start by thanking my parents for supporting me and enrolling me to a great school like PS91. I would also like to thank all of my teachers who helped me become the student I am today. I would especially like to thank Ms. Eliason for all she has done for me. Her patience and dedication to me and the other students she worked with is unparalleled. Lastly, I would like to thank my peers. You all made our stay in PS91 memorable. Today is an important day for all of us as we are the graduating class of 2021. These long years of hard work has paid off. We made it. I know I speak for all of us when I say we endured some challenging times, which made us stronger. This graduation, like mine, might be your first. It's your time to shine like you never did before and no one else did. Our only great contest occurred on June 11, 2021. This day is burned into my memory as it was the last day I was able to see my friends it, in person as a grade at our epic fifth grade graduation picnic where we sang, danced, played, and ate. I know this might be the last time we see each other as a grade in person, but it's not goodbye. Congratulations to the class of 2021 and best wishes for the future. Thank you. Hello, my name is Isana and I'm the salutatorian from my class. And hello, Ms. Nodjaletti, Ms. Lil, Terry, parents, students, and staff. We welcome and thank you for being here. This year was tough, but we all made it through and we made it to middle school. I remember when I first came to PS91, I was nervous. I didn't know anything, not even English, but with the help of my friends, I made it. If there is one thing I learned this year is to do things for your happiness, not for others. I would like to thank Ms. Nagelletti, Ms. McCartney, and Ms. Arod. They encouraged me and helped me through very tough times. The most important thing I also learned is to have courage and use my voice. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor and singer. I know it's a weird mix, but my friends, teachers, and Ms. Nagelletti encouraged me so much. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're a salutatorian or valedictorian. What matters is for you to have a good education and do what makes you happy. I would really like to thank all my friends for all the encouragement, support, and love they all gave to me. It means the world to me, and I can never repay you guys. I would really like to thank, thank all my friends for all the encouragement, support, and love you all gave to me. It means the world to me. You guys helped me so much, and I can never repay you. I would also like to thank my parents for all they did. They had high expectations for me, and I am proud to achieve them. Thank you to the valedictorians and salutatorians for those heartfelt and thoughtful words. Now, today marks the culmination of these students' academic journey here at PS91. But there are so many individuals who are instrumental in paving the path for that journey through their hard work, dedication, and compassion, which made today a reality. So my colleagues and I would like to wish the graduating class of 2021 a very fond farewell. I am so proud of each and every one of you. You are going to do amazing things in this world, I know, because you are unique and special. Always remember that in life, we will have many challenges, but always strive to be your best and nothing less. Remember that you were born with a purpose and the sky is the limit. Reach for the stars and never give up. And always remember that all things are possible if you believe and never forget how much you are loved. Te amo con todo mi corazón.
Congratulations, this is great. It's very great to have you guys all these years for art. You guys are so amazing, so talented, so creative. And I hope you never forget that. I also hope you always make art. Make art in middle school, make art in high school and beyond. Always make art. We're all artists. You're all artists. Um, and congratulations. I'm so happy for you guys. You guys are awesome. We just wanted to hop on to congratulate you all on a job well done. You all deserve it. You are incredible students. We miss you so much. We hope your families are safe and you guys are doing well. Um, we miss you guys and we are looking forward to the future for you. So, yeah. so congratulations again. You guys are gonna rock it in middle school. We wish you the very best. Mm -hmm. Feel free to reach out to us for anything. So anytime. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Congratulations, fifth grade graduates of PS91. I'm so incredibly proud of you for making it through this very different year and know that your futures will bring you lots of happiness and success. Keep up your hard work and come visit soon. Bye. Has it really been five years? That was your kindergarten graduation song. I remember when you came into the mini school, you learned to read, to write, to follow rules. And look at you now, fifth grade graduates. I'm really so proud of you. I know you're gonna keep on learning. You're gonna work hard and always do your best. And always do the right thing, even when no one is looking because you are the agents of change. Congratulations. I wish you the best. Hi, fifth graders. I can't believe it's time for your graduation. I remember when you were so little and it has been my pleasure to teach you and watch you become caring, responsible fifth graders. I want you to remember to keep your head up and imagine with all your mind, believe with all your heart, and achieve with all your might. Reach for the stars. All right, fifth graders, congratulations. Come visit us. Love, Miss Dolan. Just wanted to say hi. We miss you all so much. We hope you're staying safe and healthy. And we are so proud of how hard you have worked during your time at PS91. We wish you all the best in middle school and beyond. Congratulations. Congratulations. You did it. You are such a special, unique, and talented group of people. I don't know if you know this, but many of you were in the last class that I taught as a first grade teacher. I will never forget the wonderful times that we had together. I am so proud of you and everybody in the graduating class. Keep working hard and all of your dreams will come true. Congratulations again. I love you all. Congratulations to all the fifth graders. I'm so, so proud of you. Best of luck in middle school. Congratulations, fifth graders. We are so proud of you and all the hard work that you've put in throughout the years. You're gonna do an amazing job next year uh, in sixth grade. Have a wonderful summer. You have faced extreme circumstances harder than any New York City students have ever had to endure. However, you have handled this adversity with grace, intelligence, humor, and sensitivity. 
You will emerge from this time stronger, more resilient, and more aware of the importance of being someone who makes the world a better place. I have enjoyed teaching and watching all of you grow, some for as many as six years. You are all very special. I miss you all. I love you all. Hello, felicidades. Le quiero desear mucho éxito en la escuela intermedia, pero sobre todo le quiero desear mucha salud. Recuerden, la salud es lo más importante. Sigan haciendo ejercicio, ¿ok? Congratulations on your graduation, guys. I wish you much success in middle school and beyond. But remember, the most important thing is health. Keep exercising, ¿ok? Bye. Hello, Nagy One Scholars. This is Miss Cosme. I just want to congratulate you on your graduation and I want to let you know that in the short time that I have known you, I have found you to be one of the most loving, kind and sweetest scholars that I have ever met. Please know that you are wonderful, you are unique, you are special and that you're going to do great things. Remember, PS91 loves you very much and we look forward to seeing and hearing all the wonderful things you will be doing in life. Bye. Just wanted to take this time to congratulate all of you on your graduation and best wishes for your next adventure. I can't tell you how proud I am of you. Our all true and fierce leaders continue on your path to greatness. And remember boys and girls, the future depends on what you do today. Congrats again. Love you. Hey, fifth graders. Congratulations. You've made it. You're graduating. I'm really, really proud of you. You guys worked very hard to get to this point and very proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Um, and you guys, the class of 2021, are a really, really special class. I hope you know that. This was a school year like no other school year in history. Um, and you guys, you guys did it. Um, and you learned a lot this year too. Not just about academics, but you learned how to be flexible, do, do different things, go to school in a different way. Um, you learned how to be patient, you know, when the computer kept kicking you out of needs or your teacher had to figure out how to present things. Um, and you learned perseverance. You, you guys stuck with it. And uh, so I hope you're very, very proud of yourselves for that. Um, I wish you wonderful adventures in middle school. I know you'll do great. And I hope you don't forget us here at PS91. Come to visit us. I feel like I was just on another planet. Hey, congratulations, class of 2021. It's been a tough year, but you've made it. You should feel proud of yourself as we are all so very proud of you. Keep up the good work. Congratulations. We all had the opportunity to share your creativity, intellect, and energy. We will definitely miss you, but we will always love you. Congratulations. There's three things I want to share with you that you keep with you is first, be sure to seize every opportunity given to you. Handle challenges with grace and integrity. And most of all, be true to who you are and believe in yourself. Once again, congratulations. We wish you, I wish you all the best. Hello, class of 2021. This is Mrs. Tremboni. Um, congratulations on your graduation. And I wish you the best in middle school and in your further adventures. 
Bye bye. Everyone, congratulations to our class of 2020 for PS91. Wishing you lots of luck in your new schools and all the best in the coming years. Take care. I'm going to miss you. Felicidades a todos los graduantes de PS91 del quinto grado. Verónica es enfermera. Cuídense mucho. Les deseo toda la felicidad y mucha suerte en sus nuevas escuelas. Besitos y abrazos a todos. Los quiero mucho. Bye. We have watched you work and grow and learn over the past couple of years, and we are so proud of you. Good luck next year in middle school because you guys are going to be amazing. Hi, it's me again. I still miss you guys. And a special shout out to the fifth graders. You guys still made it. Congratulations. Good luck to your future. And please come visit us. Love you. Congratulations, guys. I'm going to miss you. I've missed you this past year. And I will never forget you and some of you who were in Miss Crystal's class and made some hearts and made some hearts and put them on my locker. I'll never forget it. And I wish you the very best. Bye. Thank you to the PS91 staff for those heartfelt messages. Now, throughout this school year, our homes became our classrooms. And the importance of that parent-teacher relationship was paramount in making today possible. Your encouragement, support, and dedication to your child's education made today a reality. Here to speak on behalf of the parents of PS91 is Parent Association President, Sylvia Pinalo. Congratulations, class of 2021. Oh my God, you guys did it. My name is Sylvia Pinalo. I am the PA president at PS91, and I could have not been more honored than to share this moment with you guys. Guys, you did it. You made it happen through pandemic and all. We've learned how to adapt and how to see things from a different perspective. How amazing is that? It's like I say, life is like a library. You get to choose what book, and you chose it today. You're graduating. You're blossoming, which is beautiful and amazing. Proud parent, will always be a proud parent of my eight-year-old who is currently at PS91 in the second grade. And I have a daughter by the name of Gracie Panalo who graduated as well and now currently at Bronx High School of Science. Guys, dream it, get it done, make it happen. You got this, cause you did it. Oh my God, congratulations. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge one of our teachers who will be retiring this year after 35 years of service, Ms. Tracy Ball Eliason. Tracy started with us in 1986 and has been an advocate for children, for parents, and for everyone in our school community. Not only has she advocated for all of our children and staff, um, but she's been a UFT chapter leader for 19 years. There's so much we've all learned from Tracy uh, from her years of experience. Um, she will be missed. And we will be honoring her. And the plaque reads, with our deepest appreciation in honor of your dedication and 35 years of loyal service, Tracy Ball Eliason. A time to look back with admiration and a time to look forward with anticipation. Best wishes on this year of retirement from your family at PS91. You will be missed and you will be remembered September 1986 to 2021. Thank you again for your service.
And now, before you hear from our two special guest speakers who have impacted our school greatly, I would like to thank the following loyal and steadfast partners who went above and beyond, especially during this pandemic. I'd like to thank World Vision, Catholic Charities, Refuge of Hope Church, Materials for the Arts, Studio in a School, Education Through Music, Rosie's Theater Kids, Jazz at Lincoln Center, Brain Power Inc., Monroe and Manhattan College, Early Reading Matters, Replications, Community Change Inc., and our local supermarkets. And now, I would like to introduce to you two very special partners, old and new, who will say a few words. First, Councilman Cabrera, who has been instrumental in supporting us in the arts, including upgrades to our auditorium and arts after school programs. And our newest partner, Dr. Rahman, who was a former PS91 student who came here at the age of four from Bangladesh and is now a medical doctor in New York City. This is New York City Council Member Fernando Cabrera. I'm so glad to be able to join you today to celebrate uh, this wonderful graduation. You have accomplished much. I wanna congratulate every parent as well. You did a marvelous job working with your children. I know it's not easy, but it was definitely worth it. And I wanna thank the, the principal and the vice principal and all of the teachers and staff, they, you, you did an amazing job, uh, especially during this last year when we faced so much. So the graduating class, let me just share briefly that now your next step is your best step. You're gonna go now to sixth grade. You have an opportunity to prepare yourself because opportunity will come. The time to prepare is not when opportunity arrives, is before it. And one of the best ways you could prepare is through getting a solid, robust education. I'm sure you will. I'm encouraged by this graduating class. Let me just share some good news. You know, uh, the school, being able to, since I become a, became a, a council member, being able to bring over $2 million to the school through the funding in New York City Council, but I'm happy to announce, matter of fact, I'm gonna have to read it because it's so much, $600,000 for a brand new playground with a, uh, with a state-of-the-art slide. It's gonna have a state-of-the-art uh, garden in front of the school with a digital sign. It's gonna look amazing. Our schools uh, deserve the best because we're educating the best kids possible. And of course, the education through music that some of you had an opportunity to participate. We'll make sure that gets restored. And uh, another $15,000 to the road runners. And let me just say, not every school gets what I just uh, share with you. So I celebrate you today. Thank you for the marvelous job that you did and continue uh, to become the very best that you could be. God bless you. Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Jahangir Rahman. I came to the school many years ago in PS91, originally from Bangladesh, came here when I was four. And I started here in uh, first grade and went through the sixth grade back then, as it was with classes went through the sixth, now it goes to the fifth grade. It's such an honor to be here to meet your principals and assistant principal and uh, to tell you guys that um, your stories are amazing. You know, um, I'm a physician now in New York City. Um, I, teach, I teach like these guys do at Columbia University. I teach the medical students there. And um, it was such a pleasure coming back here to the places where I learned. I learned how to grow. I learned how to be a person. I learned how to talk to other people. I learned English. And it is such an honor to be here. So listen, I want to tell you also guys that it was a very hard year. I know a lot of you guys were worried about the pandemic and coronavirus, but I have to tell you, it was the kids, it was the elementary school kids throughout the country who were the ones that were safest, they wore their masks, they, they were respectful because they were worried about their parents, they were worried about their teachers and their cousins and their grandparents. So I'm gonna thank you for having um, a very hard year, but you guys survived it, you guys are amazing. 
and I want to tell you that there's a place for you in the city, in this country, uh, to succeed. And if you study hard and um, you find the teachers and parents that love you and the friends that love you, um, they will take you there. I wanted to wish you uh, congratulations. You guys did an amazing job this year surviving this pandemic and studying hard. And I want to say it in Spanish, felicitaciones. Ustedes sufrió mucho en la pandemia, pero estamos aquí uh, sobreviviendo. Um, and I want to say it in Bengali as well as I'm Bengali. Uh, um, and uh, then about you guys have done an amazing job and congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Councilman Cabrera and Dr. Rahman. And now is the point in the program that you have all been waiting for, as we announce the names of the graduating class of 2021. We will begin with Ms. De La Rosa, who will read the names for her students for class 501. Buenos dias. Yo soy Ms. De La Rosa, la maestra bilingüe del quinto grado. Quiero empezar en español para asegurarme que mis estudiantes y sus padres me entienden, pero al final voy a dar una pequeña traducción en inglés para que todos lo puedan entender. Primeramente, quiero empezar por decirles lo orgullosa de estoy que estoy de nuestros graduados. Ellos son la primera clase en nuestra escuela quienes han completado un año entero de clase virtual. Ellos tuvieron que sobrepasar muchos obstáculos y aún así ellos lucharon para aprender y hacer todo lo necesario para estar en este momento ahora mismo en su graduación. También quiero darles Una gracia a los padres y guardianes quienes nos apoyaron y nos ayudaron a llegar a este momento también. Sin ustedes, no lo hubiéramos podido lograr. Deben de sentirse bastante orgullosos ustedes también. Aunque estamos aquí hoy para despedirnos, quiero dejarles saber que en mi corazón siempre van a tener un lugar muy especial. No solo eso, pero que ustedes van a ser parte de nuestra familia escolar para siempre. Espero que ustedes se sientan libres de venir a visitarnos y que, aunque ustedes no estén físicamente en PS91, que ustedes, siempre, que ustedes sepan que siempre van a tener un lugar acá con nosotros. Bueno, graduados, ya, ya ha llegado el momento de yo decirles una vez más felicidades, buena suerte el año que viene, aunque no lo van a necesitar y lo extrañaré bastante. Quickly, I want to just translate my well wishes to the graduates of 2021. You guys did something that no other student in our school, in the history of our school, has been able to do one entire year of remote learning. You guys did it. You were able to overcome so many obstacles to get to this point, and you really, really earned it. I want you guys to know that even though we're saying goodbye to you today, it doesn't mean you aren't still part of our PS91 family and that we would love to see you guys next year. Come and visit us. But I know you'll all be really busy with your new lives in middle school. Good luck, even though you're not going to need it. And have fun. Congratulations, graduates. Ahora tengo el honor de presentarles los graduados de la clase 501. Empezamos con Ruby Barrios. 
Gismeli Beltrán Navarro, James Bueno, Vanessa Huautla, Diosmairi Francisco, David Frías, Curly Jiménez, Fabiel López Villa, Ian Martínez, Leandro Mojica Pérez, Jeremy Morán Gutiérrez, Antoine Nunes Clother, Marlene Ortiz Almanzar, Jasly Pichardo Rivas, Brian Ramos, Omar Reyes Pavón, Bryant Richardson García, Ariana Rodríguez, Mylon Santos y Shailene Vargas. Thank you, Miss De La Rosa. Next, we have Miss Evans and Miss Gilsonen, who will announce the names of their graduating students from class 502. Good morning, class of 2021. Ms. Gilson and I want to say that we are so very proud of you. You have done such an amazing job being able to work through this pandemic and accomplish all the things that you have been able to accomplish. When you first came into PS91, you walked through the doors unsure and nervous as you held the hands of your loved ones. And today, as we stand here today, you no longer have to hold anyone's hand because you walk out of our building, you walk out of our buildings confident and capable of being the superstars that you are. So we have no worry that you are going to be powerful, you are going to be strong, and you are going to be someone special in this world. And so again, we say thank you, and we love you and we'll miss you. Hi, I'm Ms. Gilsonen, and I had the honor of teaching beside Ms. Evans this year, and I wanted to say how proud I am of our class. I was a little nervous to start off the year after missing the first two months due to maternity leave. However, like anyone coming into our class, our classes welcome them with open arms. They've just amazed me throughout the year with how kind, compassionate, and thoughtful they are. Our students have gone above and beyond to push themselves to make the most of their remote learning. They problem solved and used critical thinking skills to master all subjects, and they did it with grace. I have nothing but the utmost confidence that they will go on to do great things in middle school and beyond. Congratulations, guys. You earned this. Congratulations. Sapphire Ahmed. Angelica Alcantara. Haja Balde. Camille Batanse. Makai Carter. Ethan Castillo. Jalea Daniels. Julissa Encarnacion. Elias Garcia. Maxwell Garcia. Janaya Jefferson. Lachey Johnson. Lucas Lopez. Christian Bada. Shayla Perez. Crystal Polanco. Kimari Quinones. Christopher Rodriguez. Jaylene Rodriguez. Thank you, Ms. Evans and Ms. Gilson. Next, we have Dr. Sukla, Will announce the names of her graduating students from class 503. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Sukwa. Welcome to our second online graduation. Let me begin by congratulating the class of 2021 
Undoubtedly, this has been a trying year for all of you, but you made it. Like everything else, you made it, so congratulations. I am proud of you and you should be proud of you too. Uh, this year, I've had the pleasure of working with the students from class 503. This bunch of students is nothing short of amazing. They logged on daily, shared their emotions, made a few jokes, and then work as diligently as they possibly can to achieve their academic goals. For this, I'm very proud. So, congratulations and best wishes for the future. Boys and girls, whenever it's safe, please come visit me. I love you all very much. I will now present to you the boys and girls of the graduating class. Muslim Abu Bakr, Ethan Acevedo, Suweli Amo Abikawan, Kader Astacio, Joshua Carrasquillo, Aurelio Cano Rodriguez, Adriana Fernandez, Estrella Garcia, Natalie Guevara, Kier Levon, Mia Lopez, Daniel Melendez, Luis Nunez, Gabriela Pena, Jean Peralta, Daniel Polanco, Ramisa Rodella, Ian Tejoso, Elena Valeria Castellan, Anaya Wester Collins. Congratulations and best wishes for the future, boys and girls. Thank you, Dr. Supa. Next up, we have Ms. Rodriguez, who will be announcing the graduating student names from her class, Class 504. My name is Ms. A. Rodriguez, and I am thrilled to present the graduates of Class 504. Michael Arenas, Maria Arjona, Mohammed Arayan, Lizbeth Baez, Elijah Carino, Angeli Casia, Jaduel David. Donna De Jesus, Riley De Jesus, Nathaniel Delgado, Carla Garcia Pacheco, Nayeli Herrera, Zarifa Iqbal, Keith Lynch. Jamie Mendez, Isana Momo, Mariah Monzon, Adriana Moore, Ethan Morgan, Jeremy Payano, Victor Pina Caraballo. Jerani Ramos, Jaden Rodriguez, MD Saqib, Delante Schuyler, Ahamadou Tunkara, Justin Vasquez Paula, Valeria Velasquez. Kevin Velez. Thank you, Ms. Rodriguez. And last but not least, Ms. Duran and I will announce our students graduating from class 946. Hey guys, Mr. Ford and Ms. Duran here. And we just wanted to take a moment to wish you the biggest congratulations on such a great accomplishment for you guys today. I know this year has been very difficult and unlike anything you guys have experienced before in education, but you know, you did such an amazing job and through your dedication, your hard work, your resilience throughout all of this, it brought you to this day and you should be exceptionally proud of yourself. 
I know that Mr. Ran and I are extremely proud of you. We were so blessed to be your teachers this year and be a part of this experience with you. And we know that you are going to accomplish amazing things moving forward. We wish you guys nothing but the best as you move forward into middle school and beyond. Best of luck, guys. Hey, guys. I just wanted to wish uh, all of the class, the whole class, a um, congratulations. A special congrats to our class, 946. You guys were amazing this year. It was a really long journey for all of us, but together, taking it day by day, we were able to make learning really fun and we were able to accomplish many, many things. So I'm gonna miss you all dearly and I hope that you will come back and visit. So good luck in middle school and always remember that you can accomplish whatever you set for yourself. It is now our distinct honor to announce the names of the graduates from class 946. Eduardo Maldonado Barrera. Harry Parks Caldwell. Julius Coleman. Adrian Jorge Garcia. Joseph Garcia. Giovanni Leon Gomez. Jaden Jacquez. Salutatorian of class 946, Kevin Mendez. Sky Morales. Dayalis Nunez. Valedictorian for class 946, Naya Sanchez. And Tarad Washington. Congratulations once again to all the graduates of the class of 2021 and our students in class 946. We are so proud of you. Congratulations once again to the graduating class of 2021. We are so very proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Now, before we conclude this ceremony, we'd like to leave you with one last parting gift. See, it's often said that in order to understand where you're going, you gotta look back at where you've been. So in that spirit, we'd like to take a little trip down memory lane and look back at your time at PS91 before we send you off to your bright futures in middle school and beyond. Please enjoy this slideshow put together by Mr. Pagan.
class right there. Without you, my friend, 
And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through That I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place Ah, uh, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. From where we began you know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again I'll tell you when See you again First you both go out your way And the vibe is feeling strong And what's small turn to a friendship A friendship turn to a bond And that bond will never be broken The love will never get lost Brotherhood come first and the line will never be crossed Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach so remember me when I'm gone How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I would do you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last time Don't let the light guide you away Yeah Every road you take will always lead you home. Oh, oh, it's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you
And now it is time for the tassel turn. For this 2021 graduating class, turning the tassel is a symbol of our graduation. Whether you have your cap and gown on or not, we are all the same in using this moment to find the closure we have been looking for. At this point, no matter what your symbol of commencement may be, take a moment to remember the academic and personal achievements that brought us to this day. Let us also remember all the teachers, staff, and family members with whom we have shared these past six years. No matter where you are, will the graduates please stand? It is time to turn your tassel as a symbol of completing your years at PS91 and celebrating all of your well-earned achievements. If possible, please join me now in turning your tassel from right to left. Despite the circumstances, make the most of this moment. You worked hard for it. And congratulations, class of 2021.